Hello everyone and welcome to some more Albion Offline. So if it's your first time here, basically the rules are that I cannot trade with people, I cannot party off with people, and yeah, basically I have to do everything myself, everything has to be crafted by myself, and everything has to be killed by myself. So I started the day by making some spears, some spears, a single spear, which is a tier 4 spear, and then went to do some dungeons. Because I was running kinda low on silver, kinda low on silver, basically I just want to have 100,000 silver to make a guild so I can have a nice cape, also a guild island, which means that I will have more storage, because bank tabs get kinda expensive, but if I have a guild island, I'm saving money for bank space. So I did a bunch of dungeons and I didn't get really a lot of stuff, but then from this dungeon I got Damnation Staff and I made my way to Carlion and I sold that to the black market. Which means that I got 200,000 silver, which means I can make a guild. And now I will have a beautiful cape, a cape that actually looks good instead of being a pl plain blue cape didn't like. But now I have a nice cape. So of course I made I bought a guild island so I can have storage. So I'm saving silver. And then I went to my guild island to see how beautiful it is. And yeah I didn't see really much of it since it's useless for me right now. Then I crafted some Tier 4 soldier armors. Tier 4. I craft some tier 3 soldier armors. Some tier 3 soldier boots. Which means that I can now craft tier 4 armor. Which I did. I crafted tier 4 guardian boots so I can do dungeons more easily and hopefully dungeons which are above my tier because guardian boots give you a lot of defense meaning I can pull bigger rooms and kill like higher tier bosses. So from that dungeon I got assassin shoes, from this dungeon I got nothing special, just a bunch of runes. Which I will definitely use in the future to enchant my weapons. And then that unexpected happened. I got dived. In a yellow zone. That doesn't make any sense. So I just skillfully dodge his Death Giver combo. And then he uses Death Givers without any stacks. Which just shows me that he's a new player. Well, if it wasn't obvious that he's diving in the yellow zone, he's a new player. I stopped chasing because he was getting stacks and I wasn't. So I got a few stacks from the boss and then went back to him. But then I just saw that my stacks were running out so I used the dash to close the gap. And then he got me with his full combo. Which was not a good thing. But I made him low as well. And I win this because I have higher range. Yeah, yeet. I could do to the dungeon, expecting him to go away. I was I was thinking that it's the end of it, but nope, he comes back. At this point it's just a game if I can block his death givers with my guardian boots, which I fail somehow. I'm bad. I'm able to hit him full with my W because, I don't know, he doesn't try to even dodge it. And this is where I get knocked not because I'm good at this game. But 
I, I'm not sure how he keeps losing with his tier 5 stuff to my tier 4 and some tier 3 pieces. And here we are, fighting again. Here he actually gets me. And knocks me. Which gets me pretty tilted. So I switch my abilities and I knock him a few times. Fuck that guy. The purple chest wasn't even that good. And after doing more dungeons, I realized that my luck is horrible. I'm not getting anything at all. That's pretty much it. See ya guys. Peace.